Okay, so I was looking through the PSN store for something to play because we in that little um, time period in between the old Madden and old 2K and the new Madden and new 2K that's coming out and it's at the end of the year for both games. You can still have fun playing the games, but let's be honest, we're at the end of the year. And sometimes I need something to, you know I mean, that filler. You know what I mean? Fortnite don't always do it for me. You need something else. Because I'm a real gamer. I, I don't stop playing games. I keep constantly year-round playing these video games. Uh, and I just share the experience with you guys. But while I was looking for a game, I saw this. I don't know how long this has been here, by the way. This could have been here for six, seven months. I don't know. I just noticed it now. If you guys already seen it, I'm sure you'll let me hear about it down in the comment section. But I just noticed it. And you can get a PlayStation credit card. They're letting you game on credit. And it says use a PlayStation Visa credit card and spend $400 directly at PlayStation within 60 days of an account opening and you earn an extra hundred dollars statement credit and I'm sure they're gonna uh, charge you interest on that other that extra hundred dollars they're giving you you're gonna pay interest on that also for kids who don't understand what interest is it's when someone loans you money or lets you use money in advance they charge you a fee on top of what you have to pay them back so let's say they have a 25 percent uh, an interest rate on their loan well, that means if they loan you 100 bucks, let you spend $100 in credit, you're going to owe back $125. Now, I don't know what their percentage rate is. They conveniently, uh, I don't know what their interest rate is, I should say. They conveniently don't have it posted here in the uh, PlayStation store. But if you go apply for the card, I'm sure they'll let you know. But this will be great because, dude, that's, the, I mean, with let's say it's $500 in credit. I would use that once a year, me personally. I already have credit cards that I don't like to use, but for this, I would buy Madden and 2K every single year, and I would max my build out. My first build, I would max it out all on credit, and then I would just pay it off slowly. Uh, 25 bucks at a time here, 30 bucks at a time here. As long as I get it paid off, you ask me, as long as I get it paid off within four or five months, I'm happy with it. It's cool. They may charge me a little bit more interest, but hey this would come in handy for a lot of gamers for a lot of parents whose kids want certain games every year and you can get it for them and then just pay it off slowly uh it definitely will come in handy around christmas time so i don't even well i don't even know what like i said i don't know what the interest rates are so i don't even know if it's a good deal it could be a bad deal to begin with i'm just saying that let's say it's something fair like 20 percent or less because you can't really expect too much better than that from these cards. Uh, Ultimate Edition of 2K is 150 bucks, and then you're looking at at least at least another hundred for Matt, and that's 250 dollars right there. And like I said, you if you max out your build, that could be another hundred dollars. That's 350 dollars right there. Okay, so I had to go to a website and see what I could find out about this card. It says I went to Nerd Wallet. Uh, five things to know about the PlayStation credit card. Let's try to skim through these real quick. It says some rewards are inconvenient and tedious to earn. So they do give you rewards. Oh, wait a whoa, whoa, whoa. It says three points per $1 spent on cable and internet bill payments. So you, or restaurants, you don't have, I thought this was a credit card that you could only spend with PlayStation Network. I didn't know they actually let you, sp you can spend the credit, you can use the credit card anywhere. I didn't know. Wow. So that changes my whole perception of the card right there. You will be, I'm reading right here, guys. You will automatically be enrolled in the Sony Rewards Program, which is required to earn rewards when you open this uh, PlayStation Visa credit card. And let's see, I already read that one about the uh, internet and the bill payments. Two points when you uh, when spend it at restaurants and a point per dollar when you spent on other points purchases. So no matter what, you're earning points every time you use the card point values generally hover around eight cents a piece okay so each point is worth about eight cents and you're earning eight cents for every dollar spent so you spend 10 bucks you just earn 80 cents cash back that's what it seems like right there for an easier and more streamlined rewards earning process consider the wells fargo active cash card 
it earns 2% cash back on all purchases and has a zero uh, has a zero annual fee. Okay, the card doesn't cost anything. That was that card. What does Okay, this card has a zero annual fee also, the PlayStation card. It's issued by Community Bank. I hope that's how you say it. And it has a zero annual fee. Now, the points, it seems like it's easy to accumulate points. But how many points do you actually need to get something good? Cars terms note that you may be required to have at least 500 points to start redeeming. So the weakest prize is going to be about 500 points. And something really good, something you really want is probably going to be about 35,000 points. Which who knows? Let's see. There are two sign up bonus offers. Ah, okay. I didn't get to that yet. You can also redeem points towards products featured on Sony's Deals and Steals limited time sales. Plus, you can use your points to purchase tickets to some concerts and other events. Wow. Although other store branded credit cards come with similar restrictive redemption processes, the best rewards credit cards typically don't make you jump through hoops to use your rewards, nor do they limit what you can use them for. Ah, so out of all the cards that offer rewards, what they're trying to say is this is not one of the best reward systems that Nerd Wallet has seen. Uh, points can be purchased at a rate of a uh, penny per point, but note that points expire after five years, so you must redeem your points during that time frame or lose them. So let's say I'm grinding for something and it's going to take me about six years to accumulate the points. Nah, you only got five years to use them points. So when you notice that you're five years in. You need to look at what points are about to expire and just hurry up and use them up. Oh, that's kind of messed up. As a new account opener, earn a $50 PlayStation store code when you make your first purchase with the credit card within 60 days of signing up. You probably won't be able to snag much with this offer, but other store credit cards come with similar meager sign up bonuses. You can, you can get something with 50 bucks. It said you couldn't be able to get much with that. Yes, you will. Earn a free game worth up to $75 when you spend $500 with the card, not at PlayStation or Sony. Oh, they want you to spend $500 somewhere else other than PlayStation. And we'll give you a free game, which is nothing to them. The spending requirement might seem steep, but if you consider upgrading to the recently released PlayStation 5 console, purchasing it through a non <laughs> sony website with a guarantee that you meet the 500 hundred dollar minimum and get 75 dollars off oh and so they're saying hey uh you don't know what to spend 500 bucks on why don't you buy a playstation 5 but don't buy it from us buy it from someone else buy it from someone that we've already sold it to <laughs> you can shop instantly after you are approved for your credit card Hey, that's a good bonus. You don't even have to wait for your card in the mail. They give you a card. I mean, they give you a card number right then and there. You'll be sent a, te a temporary shopping pass. Yeah, they send that via uh, email probably. Start shopping now. Start giving us, <laughs> start earning us money now. It can be expensive to carry a balance. Woo, look at those interest rates down there. I said I was hoping it'd be at least 20% or less. It says, as of March 2023, the variable APR, which is annual percentage rate for purchases, Made with the PlayStation Visa credit card can be as high as 26.99. Might as well say 27%. So for every dollar you spend with that credit card, you owe them back a dollar twenty-seven. Basically. Every time you spend a dollar, you owe us back a quarter and two pennies extra with that dollar. This is much higher than the average annual percentage rate charge for cars that incur interest. That is extremely high guys that's very high that is not a good deal so i seen that interest rate right there that let me know i'm not dealing with this card if you pay your balance on time in full each month this isn't going to be much of a problem but if you need to carry a balance a credit card that offers a zero percent annual percentage rate introductory period would be a better choice they actually have those uh, if I wasn't in the middle, if I wasn't in the middle of uh, recording a video for you guys, I would click on that and find out which cars those are. Matter of fact, I'm gonna leave this on my screen. Let me star that. <laughs> I'm gonna come back to this because I want to know what cards can I can I get that have a zero percent interest rate starting out. But yeah, that's it, guys. Uh, I didn't even know anything about the PlayStation credit card, and after seeing this. It's not really worth it. It's just a it's a different type of credit card, different than anything else out there, but the interest rates are just too high for me to deal with. 
make your decision leave your comments down below in the comment section can't wait to hear from you guys until the next time i have something for you it's been me your boy ec rallo and i'm out was that a week was that a week outro was that was that kind of like a week ending i feel like it was thank you come again